Hi guys, so impartiality is generally a good idea when we're dealing with trivial topics, but when we're dealing with something extremely important, something extremely serious like a pandemic and a vaccine rollout, we can't have one lunatic on one side and a scientist on the other. Now what you're going to hear from uh, Sky News, and this is something you know I've criticized in the past when it came to the BBC, having a lunatic on one side and, a, and an, an expert on the other. You're going to see another example of it in with Sky News here, which is, I think is extremely concerning. But we have Craig McKinley, who's a Tory MP and a member of the COVID recovery group, which is basically the ERG for the pandemic, just basically lunatics. And then on the other side, you have Professor Gabriel Scali, who's an expert, a scientist. Let's hear what uh, Craig had to say first. In the different places I've said, massive testing, a, a range of new cocktails of drugs which can actually help those who are who are sick. But the reality is we have to accept there's going to be a background of COVID, which sadly will take people off every year, just as flu does every year. And we have to get to that sort of level that we're, uh, as a society, comfortable with, because this is not going away. Variants will happen. Uh, on a regular basis, okay. and we have to be alert to those uh, and uh, roll out the new vaccines as and when they hit us each and every year. That is okay. the reality of life. Okay. No, it's not. Okay. So what he's got, he's trying to say here is, look, we have this vaccine and um, some people are going to die. That's just the fact of life. Um, we should try to get down to zero COVID. Some countries have already done it. New Zealand is probably the best example. Japan is another example. He, he's just, he just wants the economy up and running as soon as possible. He doesn't care about the public. One, I've said this before. He's probably been uh, supported either financially or politically by small businesses in his area. And they're putting pressure on him. Let's get the economy moving again. Perhaps he's in some sort of business himself and he wants the economy moving again. He doesn't care about the public. He doesn't care about the working class. If some of them die, well, that's the cost of business. That's the call. We have to save the economy. We don't care about people's lives. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to present, you know, you know, we have this vaccine. Let's get back to, to normal again. People want to get back to normal. I'm trying to sell something to the public that's positive. And then you're going to hear from the scientist, of course, who has to bring us back to reality. Let's get the thoughts out of Dr. Gabriel Scali uh, to that. We can't uh, get to zero COVID. We have to accept it, uh, Craig McKinley uh, says. And we have to get used to it and live alongside it like we do with flu. Do you accept that? Oh, I don't accept it at all. You can't live with COVID. You can die with COVID. You get long COVID. You can be really, really ill with COVID. Uh, and, you know, and we don't accept things like measles, diphtheria, polio. We work to get rid of them. I, you know, I, I would love it if uh, the government would actually try and get the levels down to elimination level the way we do with measles, for example, or have tried to do with measles. And I, if they actually tried and put the public health measures in place, I agree with Mr. McGillie on one thing, and that is I'm against lockdowns. I think lockdowns are terrible. They should only be used as a last resort. Unfortunately, this government, it's been their only resort and now they have vaccines they're going to, if Mr. McKinley and his, uh, and his colleagues had their way, would do away with all our social restrictions. I, I mean, this is not a way to manage our way out of this virus. There are plenty of countries in the world, big like Japan and Taiwan, that are zero COVID, have little to no, or no COVID, are living normal lives, don't have deaths, don't have uh, long COVID cases of any numbers, and whose economy is doing extraordinarily well. This way, the way okay. the government is handling it, we get the worst of all worlds and probably worst in the world. See, the problem with, problem with Mr. McKinley is that he doesn't care about the public. He, he doesn't care about people's lives. And he's trying to present the idea, present the position that we have this vaccine. And that means we can get back to normal. And it, that's not the case. The vaccine is the first step. The restrictions have to remain in place. They, you have to remember that the CRG don't want any restrictions. They don't want any lockdown. 
because they care more about businesses. They care more about the economy. It's not because they care about people having jobs. No, it's about profit. Businesses are suffering at the moment. They don't care about the workers. They care about the businesses. They care about the business owners. And unfortunately, when we look at issues like this, we have the lunatic on one side and you have the scientist on the other. The lunatic is presenting the positive, you know, everything's going great. We have this vaccine, let's get back to normal. And then on the other side, unfortunately, we have reality presented by the scientist and the reality is not always convenient to hear. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?